This video will help you find relevant documents relating to the United Nations Special Procedures. We'll be using two links to navigate to the relevant documents. You see those links up on your screen. The first URL will take you to this page where you see all of the United Nations member states and each country that's a United Nations member state has its own web page dedicated to human rights issues. So we'll take as an example, um, let's do uh, Tajikistan. So if we click the Tajikistan page, you'll see the status of ratifications, the reporting status for the different treaty bodies, um, whether there are any standing invitations to the special procedures mandate holders, but most relevant for our purposes, you can click here to get through to the universal periodic review documents if you like, but also the special procedures. So you can click the link to country visits by special procedures to see whether there have been any recent country visits. And you'll see here that certain ones were completed, um, certain requests are inactive, um, but here you can see to the extent that there was a country visit, then you can click through and get the relevant supporting documentation. Typically there's a report that the um, special procedures mandate holder issues after the visit is complete. Um, and some of them are in the negotiation stages. Some sometimes the state under the, the the UN member state has accepted the invitation, but they haven't yet worked out the details. Um, if you go back to that main pa main page for Tajikistan, you can see um, the most recent special procedures reports are linked here, so you don't have to go through that drop down list that you saw on the previous page. Um, and you can see what the different topics are for the special procedures. So the report of the Special Rapporteur on Torture after a mission to Tajikistan, for example, might be relevant. Um, and so that that's a way to access the various documents related to special procedures mandate holders and their country visits or statements about the country that you're looking at. You'll see on the right hand side there are links to treaty body mechanisms. Those are just the treaty body concluding observations. You won't get to access all of the other treaty body information that you might want to take a look at. The second URL takes you to the communications report um, database, which is a really rigorous tool that can give you access to communications that are filed with the um, United Nations Special Procedures mandate holders. We, um, you can keep it open for all sessions and just search by state or entity. So we'll take, just as an example, Belarus, and we'll leave the dates open to all available dates. And we can find from this search, all of the communications that have been accepted by the Special Procedures mandate holders with respect to alleged human rights violations in Belarus. And you'll see there are quite a few, 43 communications. And you can read through the summaries of the communications to see whether the particular communication is relevant to your research. And you can get additional information about the communication. And also, if there are any replies from the government, the replies will be posted there after a certain waiting period. So that's a great way for you to access to find out whether there are any communications that are relevant to the research that you are doing. Um, about a particular country. So those are the two websites I wanted to show you to help you access information related to special procedures mandate holders. I hope that was of help.